Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Alistair from Melancholy Tech and Gaming. We're here to unbox the Beach Studio 3 Wireless. This is the Decade Edition, 10 years, quite impressive. Um, these are obviously new ones, this is the Studio 3. Uh, this will be the first set of Beats I've actually bought, so this will be quite interesting. Uh, especially from the base aspect, to see whether they're improved or whether they're overly based and a bit more clunky or muffled depending on which way you want to call it i'm just gonna put this down and just open that for five seconds actually if i put that there that should allow me to there we go more of a natural opening There we go, that's lovely. Put the plastic away there. Not still recording, lovely stuff. Right, let's see what we have on the back here before we open it. So they're over here, the wireless, obviously. Uh, comes with a carrying case, apparently, which is quite good. Uh, f Bluetooth, obviously. Uh, it doesn't really say what version, so I guess I'll have to find that out. Adaptive noise cancelling. Uh, we'll see how well that works. I've heard bad things, but positive attitude here let's hope for the best auto off power mode that'll be really handy i think 22 hours battery life mm, my sony's have 30 and they're two years older but um we'll see fast charge i don't think my sony's have that so that should be quite helpful i think for on the go control your music with an inline either an inline mic or it means there's buttons i think there's probably buttons Ah, here we go. Um, wireless microphone built in as well as one on the wire. Comes with a red 3.5 to 3.5. And it comes with a charging cable, obviously. Mm, I'm hoping it's Type-C, but we'll find out. All right, let's get to opening this. Since day one, it's been about the sound. Okay, we'll have to see about that. That's that bit. It's very smudge prone. You can see that right there. Not good. Well, I have a cloth somewhere, I think, but oh, we're gonna open it anyway, so there's no point in that. Look, right there, it shows you what the um, what the carrying case is gonna look like. Okay. Obviously, there's there's all the bits on the back there. Right, let's try and open this. Awkward getting it to stand up. Oh, that will do for now. How do we open it? Would be the question, really. Ah, this must be it. It must be, ah, it's a slider. That's what kind of what it is, it slides. It's a sliding case. Okay. I love the aesthetic of that. Right. So, I'll try and put that there. There. Okay. Ten years logo, decade collection. Very nice looking. It appears they're going all in with this sliding look. As it would appear. It's just not doable. In one hand, you need two. Mm. All right, decade of defiance. So we have this nice little, very sort of silk material pull out. As you pull that out, okay. We have the case here. I imagine the headphones are inside the case. Just imagining. Could be wrong, could be wrong, but I doubt it. Because that falls away in a kind of flimsy way after that. I'm gonna have to see. It's, it's very, very stiff, very. I mean, you can, you could knock that and like, that feels quite, quite solid, I think. Almost like the, um, the case I bought for my Audio Technique is very, very bulky. It's quite cold, it's quite cold as well. Thank you. 
And the, the zip is very um, awkward to open, I think. Ah, yeah, here we go. So, as you can see, they appear to be like um, leather cushioned, or maybe it's forks. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, they seem quite nice. I'm going to put that back over for now, just very gently. I'm going to see what else is in the box, and then we'll come back to that. So, I don't think there is anything else in the box, though. But we'll find out, won't we? No, so that's just... Well, there has to be. Because otherwise, how would you... How would you charge it? Yeah, okay, the charging cable's not there, so... Oh, I get it. It's it's a ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a ribbon. You pull the ribbon open, and that's where you get to the goodies. I see. All right, we're missing the goodies right now, so there was a ribbon just there. So what it was, was this just sitting inside there like that. Me being blind and a dumbass. Well, not blind, but you know where I'm coming from. Um, so you pull the ribbon out, just like that, ever so gently. And you've got your, I believe, your 3.5 to 3.5 there. I'm pretty sure, which we'll leave that because I don't need to use that yet. Right, okay, so we have a booklet there. I'm guessing it's going to be some pictures and some advertising, just guessing. We have a hook thing there, which I think is meant to be attached to a belt or a bag for the carry case, I think. You have your fast fuel cable there, obviously. Um... I'm just going to guess that it doesn't come with a plug. I'm just guessing. Which is normal, I guess. They don't come with plugs. Neither of the Sony's, which I've got, which is um weird. They want you to plug everything into the extension leads nowadays, I guess. That's how they think it is. It's a bit silly. But hey-ho, that's how it is. Um, I'm trying to remember how it all went in. And this went in like that, didn't it? So this went back in. Cool. All cushioned. Cushioned so much you can't put it back in. <laughs> As it would appear. Alright. Pop that back on. Ah. So that's how that was. Okay, so the box is back together. Now we can actually get to the headphone and the booklet. Now the booklet is here. Beats, Studio 3 Wireless. Zoom in there a little bit. Just gradually. Lovely. <laughs> I like this. It's, um, it's an instruction booklet. You know, if you don't know how to turn on your Bluetooth, which I guess, um, depending on age and if you're new to certain phones, you might not know how to use Bluetooth properly. Charge and battery status. So, use for empty if it's for charged, I'm guessing. So, it's kind of like in a car, you've got your empty and your full. Low battery. Oh, so they're doing it like that. Okay. I get that. That's pretty cool. I've not had headphones before where it's usually just a green light and a red light, but this is like a whole. You can see there. It's like, so this will be if it's at the lowest. And as it charges, the more lights will light up, and then when it gets to the end, it's done. I'm guessing either a button there or a light will change colour when it's done. That's pretty cool. For all the things Beats are praised and, well, the opposite. <laughs> praised and given negative response for. At least I've done something well there. Controls for the wireless. It appears volume up and down by swiping up and down or pressing on a button. Probably a button, I think. Um, center button is your pickup call, your play and your pause, and um, I'm guessing hold down. Like your Google Assistant, your Siri, things like that, which is pretty cool. I will slot that back in there. Um, there's more, there's, oh, a Beats logo. It's very important to put that, that on the computer. Um, more Bluetooth stuff, hard hearing. Don't put them on too loud. It may damage your hearing, things like that. Electrical things, don't throw them out. Don't dispose of them in the wrong manner. Different languages, etc, etc. All the boring stuff. But they need to legally put in there. Cool. Oh, there we go. That might have been a bit fast. I'm sorry if that zoom was a bit too fast. Uh, Apple one year limited warranty. 
I like how it's limited, that's uh, quite interesting. I suppose at least you get a year, but um, I think two years isn't the norm, but maybe Apple's just different, perhaps. Oh, is that all the same thing, just different languages? Okay. okay that's how that is then. I assure you, lovely viewers, we will get onto the headphones themselves in a minute. I just want to cover everything, if at all possible. It does not want to slide back in. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that all that stuff is back in there. So three hours of play from a ten minute of charge, supposedly fast fuel. Reminds me of dash charge for the OnePlus phones. Let's see whether it's something what ends up being handy or. And it is a. If you can see that, it is a Type B to Type A charger. So no Type C there. It doesn't really matter that much if anything it's a bit more impressive that it can do a fast charge function on an old lesser used format so that's if anything a bit more impressive right let's open these bad boys and see what they feel like to use uh, the build quality of them you know your etc etc so i can't do this with one hand so i'm gonna have to lean that lean that there what i will do as I was in. Uh, yeah, I'll do it this way. So that way, okay, so. They, um, it's plastic on the top, most definitely. Being very gentle to open them, quite read bad things about the older models. I don't like that click. I don't know if you heard that, that was very, very off sounding click makes you worry about breaking them um right a little sticker is the charge up remove the sticker you know, be common sense sort of things uh i'm gonna go and guess that they're not they're not charged yet mm, but i'll find out all right so here we go with it i'm not very good with my left hand so bear with me so there's stickers on it indicating that you know um, Indicating remove this controls for the wireless modes. It states there. You have your wireless symbol, obviously. Not a nice black and red paint job. The um, the red. It feels very nice. It's a very cushiony um, very cushiony material. I'm not going to doubt them on that. The um, the build quality in general. Um, I don't dislike. It's not that I dislike it. It's um, I just think here where the hinges are. When you open and close them, if you listen carefully, hold on, how am I gonna do this? Okay. If you listen carefully and you can just hear it already, that sounds very, very cheap. And I'm not a fan of that because I just, I think that's gonna break. I mean, I, I take care of my te technology stuff or my tech, whatever you wanna call it. But that sounds very, very finicky and very fragile. And I think even if somebody's delicate, that will probably break quite easily. I give this six months. Um, so if we zoom in, hold on, how am I going to do this? If we zoom in here, and I find the focus. Okay, so we zoom in just here. I think that right there is one of the microphones, I think, for the, um, the active noise cancelling, which is what it states. And you can see there the, um, the leatherette. Um, cushions, um, estimated OA, so that's, you know, when Beats was founded, according to them at least, could be right, could be wrong, but I would imagine it's right, um, you see here already where the cushion, has got a tiny bit of sort of like a dent, because they've obviously been leaning on each other, because they're folded away, um, that's fine, you know, that'll bounce out, it's, it's kind of like a memory phone sort of texture, and obviously they're, they're stitched together here, which that's really quite nice, you can see, hat stitched, never gonna knock that, um, regarding the build itself, I mean, apart from it being plastic, which is bad, I can't really complain. I mean, if as long as it lasts, then credit to them if it lasts. I mean, obviously it's telling me to charge there, so I don't think there's any battery on it. I'm going to try, and I'm going to... I think they're dead. 
So even out of the box, you can't even... I mean, I might be wrong. But I'm going to put my ear to it. Hold on. No, they're, um... I think they are completely dead. Hmm. Alright, well, I need to charge them, so I'm going to have to finish the review a bit early and do a follow-up one. Um, but you have your left and your right. Sort of. It's just, just there. I'm going to zoom slowly. Are you left there? And you have... You're right there, which it needs a bit more sunshine. A little bit more light. There you go, you got your right there. Um, I mean, these look like they could be all right. Anyway, I will follow this review up with a follow-up one. Um, once I've got them charged and tested, a couple of hours time. And we will see how they perform. Anyway, this is Alistair from MC Gaming and Tech. Thank you and have a lovely day. Like and subscribe to the video if you like it. If you hate my stupid face, then dislike. And I'll see you in the next one.